I'm in my Azure DevOps server. Uh, if you go into your My Donkey app, uh, under the pipelines, uh, we already executed My Donkey app sample uh, pipeline. Uh, but this pipeline has, uh, we executed only a few steps until archive. Uh, we successfully execute that. So let's now try to upload this archive into S3. To do that, enable this S3 task. So go select that task and go to control options and enable that task. Uh, so this task I got through one of the plugins that I have installed. Uh, if you want to do that, uh, you can click plus sign here and then search for S3. And you will have a task to uh, S3 upload. You can do it with this task or alternatively you can do it with PowerShell. So I'm going to use this built-in uh, task to do that plugin. So select that uh, S3 upload. Uh, I'm going to upload, uh, give it a name, something S3 upload. I'm not going to provide credentials. Uh, we already studied that there are multiple ways to provide credentials. One method is to uh, provide it with the built agent uh, instance profile. So I'm going to use that method. So there's going to be no credentials. The region I'm building this one is in uh, App Southeast 2. And uh, the bucket name I'm going to give something like this. Um, so let's uh, check whether this name already exists. I'm in my AWS console. So go to uh, S3. Let's try to create a bucket. Create a bucket. Uh, let's uh, saw it my uh, build artifacts. So the if, if the name is, uh, so this name may not be available for you. Uh, it's where the bucket name has to be unique across that region. So in my case, it's successful, but in your case, it may not be successful. In that case, you can uh, give a name like one, two, three, or something like that. So luckily for me, I have this My Build Artifacts, a nice name. Uh, click Next. Uh, then click Next, click Next, create the bucket. So My Build Artifacts uh, name has been uh, allocated for me, and I got that name. Uh, in your case, if you don't have this name, uh, uh, add some uh, suffix like 1, 2, 3, uh, or some random number. So my build artifact is the folder name. So let's copy this folder name uh, and then uh, configure my uh, pipeline to use this bucket, my build artifact. Source folder is this one, artifact staging directory. A file name is my donkey app build number builds out. So we already know that this zip file exists when we build it. Uh, and I uh, parameterize this accordingly target folder in S3, uh, something like my donkey app deliveries. So let's create a folder like that. So in my build artifact uh, S3 uh, folder, we can create a folder so that everything related to this application will end up here. Save. So you have that my donkey app deliveries. So you can have, for example, one uh, S3 bucket to keep all your artifacts and different folders for different applications. So in this case, my donkey application is here. And if you have another application, it could be another folder. So all the deliveries related to my donkey application will end up in this folder. So that's a good practice to have. So go into your, so I'm in my uh, S3 configuration. Uh, so this is the folder, access control is private. Uh, do I need server side integration? As of now, I'm not using. Uh, you can configure uh, if you want to overwrite, that's good. Storage class is standard. So you can, for example, define, uh, depending on your requirements, a different storage class. Uh, so if you want a detailed login, you can log it here. Uh, so log request, log responses, that's good for debugging. Uh, and then the control option, I have already enabled this task. So far, so good. Let's save this the pipeline, and then let's execute the pipeline to see whether it uh, successfully works. Of course, uh, click AWS build pool, queue the build. Now this should throw an error because I don't have uh, permissions to upload S3. So select this uh, build that is running, and let's try to fix that security issues once we get that error. 
So it says uh, bucket my build artifact does not exist or you do not have access. So the reason why you got this is when this task uh, try to execute it, uh, it doesn't have permissions to access uh, uh, S3. The reason for that is of course our built agent doesn't have permissions. So let's attach a permission so that our built agent will have enough permissions to upload the content. I'm in my AWS console, uh, go to your EC2 section of the uh, console. And here I have uh, to run an instance. The one who built this uh, uh, one is in built machine. Uh, select this IAM uh, role. We already studied these things. And if you look at it, you don't you can find that as of now, I don't have any permissions. That's why I got that error. So let's attach a policy. You can attach a fine-grained policy that will say, hey, this user is allowed to upload content only into that S3 folder. Uh, but in this case, uh, I'm going to say, uh, going to give full S3 access. It's not a good practice, but um, for this lab session, that's a good uh, approach. Um, you can define a fine-grained policy and then say, uh, all this machine is allowed to upload only to that folder or onto that S3 bucket. But yeah, I give full S3 access. Let's now run this uh, build again. So queue a new build. You can do it like this, or you can go to the builds, uh, select here. You can select my sample application and then queue a new build. Uh, select AWS build pool and then queue a build. So the build started. So let's select that. So it's executing the steps. If successful, you should have a zip file with this ID in my S3 bucket. S3 uploaded successful. Ideally, you should have a uh, file with uh, some my donkey app with this ID in S3. If you go into S3, you can find that uh, this zip file got uploaded. So let's check our S3 bucket. In my AWS console, go to S3. Uh, we have our folder in uh, my build artifacts, my donkey app deliveries, and you can find my donkey app zip file has been uploaded. So let's download this. Keep the file, keep the file, show it in the folder. And you can find that uh, I have this file. So let's extract it to uh, this folder. And the important thing here is that uh, you can find that it's in the root folder. So the file is in good shape. I have my DLLs, my uh, JSON configs, and most importantly, app spec in the root folder. 